Good evening. Today is July 20th, and this is what I received from the Lord this morning. Melissa, write these words. Today the Lord is going to begin to deliver his people from the chains that bind. Today he will call all men back to him. Melissa, the throne of God is the place where every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. Today, the men of this world will begin to see that they are being misled and misguided toward a dark end. They will become aware that the plans for them were never about money or fame or comfort. The plans were much higher. They were much grander. They were much more specific and individual. Melissa, I am the Lord who plans futures. I am the Lord who assigns seasons. I am the Lord who gives identity and purpose, and I am the one who rewards. I am He. This nonsense about worldly gain is not of me. I am the gain. I am the pursuit. I am. I am love everlasting. Melissa, tell them I am the one their hearts desire. I am the one they seek. I am the one who fills to overflowing. There is no other. Begin to see, children. Begin to open your eyes and see. This world will soon pass away. Where is your treasure? Am I your treasure? What has been my replacement? What stands in that place? Do you love the praise of men? Do you love your family? Do you love your comforts? What do you dream about? Do you desire the gifts given or the giver of gifts? I love to give good gifts. I love my children, but do not worship the gifts I have freely given. Do not worship the accumulations of this world. Worship me, love me, desire me. Come to me, children, lay it all at my feet. Do not hold on to it. It will all be gone soon. Soon you will fa be face to face with me. Am I enough? Will that satisfy your soul? What fills your soul? What have you piled in there? My children, I desire you to be filled to overflowing. I desire to bless you. I sing songs over you. But who do you serve? Who holds the keys to your heart? Who or what drives you and motivates your life? My children, there is a mixture. My children, there is mixture. There is a watering down. There is a departure. Focus your eyes on me, children. Look at me. I will give you the desires of your hearts, the treasure you seek. It's all contained in me. I have so much in store for you. There is so much I desire to give you. I hold the key that unlocks. I am the key. Do you see, my children? I am he. Find me. Seek me with your whole heart. I am who you desire. I am the one who can fill your cup. There is no substitute. There is nothing greater. There is no other life. Find me. I am right here. Cry out to me and I will answer. Children, you have crowded me out. Empty your cups and let me fill them anew. Do you understand? I love you. I am love. I am healing love. I am life. I am life. Seek me in the quiet spaces. My children, Seek me, and you will find me. Ask, and it will be given to you. Knock, the door will be opened. I am the one who does this. There is no other. I am the way, the truth, the life. Do you still not see? Who can do this? Who can make a way where there is no way? Who is it that heals wounds? Who is it that restores and renews and redeems? Who is it that creates and cleanses and calls forth? It is I, the Lord. I do this. Children, come back to my love so that I can lead you through these last days. Come back and be restored to me. I will forgive and I will deliver you. You will receive your inheritance. Draw close to me now. I am right here. Find me. See me. My arms are reaching. My voice is calling to you. Turn. Look. See me. I love you. I am your creator, your heart's desire. I am he. I am close. I am not far off. I am all around you. I surround you. I know all about you. I died so that you might live. I did this so you could be restored to my Father. Listen to me. You belong with your Creator. The fullness and splendor is not found in the created, but the Creator. Return to your Father's love, prodigal children. Come back home. Melissa, deliver these words. They are from me, daughter. Tell them of my great and individual love for them. Tell them to open their hands. Release, so that I may give. He who has ears, let him hear. Go now and deliver this message to my children. And then 
uh, just a few scriptures this time. Psalm 113, 1 Corinthians 2, 14 through 16, Leviticus 2, 14. And good job, some of you, on your research of the grain offering. Um, he keeps putting that in here in a lot of these messages. Um, there's there's verses about grain offerings in Leviticus, so it's something he really wants us to understand. So if you haven't looked into it, just do a Google search and um, and read read about what a grain offering is and how it's different from the other sin offerings. Lamentations 2, 8, James 4, 6 through 8, Hebrews 2, 4, Ephesians 3, 6, all are children of God. I will put those verses in the notes for you and I wanted to before I conclude this video just talk a little bit briefly about an exercise that we did at church last night just because I was able to share it today with a friend and she experienced such victory that I just thought it would be good to pass it along to all of you if you don't know this exercise or this technique. Um, I'm just going to use parts of it. It's called Sozo, but, and we were practicing leading another person through it, but you can do it, you know, with yourself. And I've done, you know, a little bit of this. Just when I worship, I often, um, in the spirit realm, visit with Jesus and just watch what he does. And through doing that, I've experienced a lot of healing and Every, every day it's different. We have different encounters. So this is similar to that. And uh, we talked briefly about Peter and how when he denied Christ three times, Jesus, when he returned, he took Peter and sat with him by a fire. Where, where Pete, Not the same place, but Peter denied Jesus by a fire. He sat with Peter and gave him an opportunity to profess his love for Jesus three times. So he, he revisited a memory that caused shame and Jesus was there with him and changed that memory and that healed Peter. And then he was able to tell Peter, go feed my sheep. So if you have ever experienced an emotional reaction that seems extreme and not really balanced, with, with the situation and you feel like it's difficult to conquer your emotions, like maybe you have feelings of abandonment or maybe you feel disregarded, maybe you feel invalidated or overlooked or really, really sad and you're just not sure why your emotions are why they're so big and maybe the trigger wasn't wasn't that significant but the emotional reaction was really really big sometimes when that happens and I would probably say every time that happens you're operating probably from a place of of woundedness an unhealed wound and so when that happens what you can do is um, Speak to your soul, get quiet, and tell your soul you are safe. Tell your soul Jesus is safe. And then tell your protectors to leave. Surrender your protectors, the things that, that like to keep you in that wounded um, mentality, that victim mentality, that hurt place, and they protect you there. Tell those protectors to leave in the name of Jesus. And then ask the Holy Spirit to reveal a memory connected to the hurt that you're feeling. And a lot of times you'll immediately get a memory. And it's awesome. So now you're starting to operate in the Spirit. And so you explore that memory. Look at the details of it. Sit in it for a moment. Observe the setting. What's going on. And uh, the characters and and just the event so explore the memory and then 
invite Jesus to come into that scene, into that memory, and just watch what he does. And so in that moment, he's going to change your memory, and he's going to uh, reveal himself in some way. So maybe you see him, maybe you just feel him and sense him, but just experience what he does. If you feel, if he's there, but he's, his arms are crossed or his back is to you or something like that, that could mean that you need to forgive somebody. There might be some unforgiveness. Uh, so just see if that happens. But once Jesus does what he does, and you feel like the memory has been changed, and you experience him spiritually, and you experience his healing love, tell all the, all the demons, all the spirits, all the strongholds in that area uh, to go in Jesus' name. Tell them to go back to the outer darkness, never to return, that you break all agreements with them. And then ask the Holy Spirit to fill all of those spaces that were previously occupied by that wound and that hurt. And that is a way to uh, begin some inner healing and to get free and to address things at the root and get real healing um, and get your wounds bound up. He can bind up your wounds and he can heal you and he can change those memories. And... Uh, and you can teach other people to do it. You can walk them through that process. You can pray for them and really listen to, to their experiences and, and help them bring Jesus into that area. So I've done a lot of that and it's really, really helped me. There's been real key areas that have been, um, you know, when I was first starting out, like they those wounded areas really prevented me from hearing the Lord and experiencing the Lord. I really had to get free in some areas before I could intimately worship Him and receive Him and experience Him. So I just wanted to pass that along. I hope that's helpful to you. So anyway, I hope that blesses you. I hope that helps you in your journey toward the Lord. Uh, he desires to be intimate with us. He desires to get deep in there into all those spaces and heal your wounds. And when we do that, we start to develop a relationship. We develop, we start to establish memories with him and we journey with him to all of these different places. And we allow him to be our healer, our God, our Lord, as we surrender more and more of our heart to him. So I love you and I will see you tomorrow. In the next video. Have a great evening. God bless you.